Humanity is about to take one step closer to returning to this place, the Moon, because on April the 3rd, NASA will announce the names of the three Americans and one Canadian who will launch on a lunar mission called Artemis II next year. In 2024, they will fly around the Moon and become the first humans to see this place up close in 50 years. They'll also be the first humans to fly in the new Orion spacecraft, which completed an uncrewed automatic mission last year. So let's talk you through the Artemis II mission these astronauts will undertake. Soon after launch on an SLS rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, they'll go through a series of critical moments. Orion will jettison its boosters and other components, and the main engine will cut off and detach. And then comes the exciting part, what's called translunar injection, when a key part of Orion, built in Europe, what's known as ESA's service module, will power Orion away from Earth orbit and towards the Moon. At that point, the four crew will be allowed to take off their new orange custom-made Orion flight suits that they wear for launch and re-entry. They're waterproof, fireproof, and can keep the crew alive for six days if they suffer a loss of cabin pressure. But let's be honest, they're not as comfy as some sweatpants and a T-shirt on a long journey. And it is a relatively long trip. The four Artemis II astronauts will spend nine days and 13 hours flying 370,000 kilometers to the moon. Once they're there, they'll ease into orbit around the moon for a period of six days and expect some awesome photos as they cruise over the lunar surface and look back at Earth. The four astronauts, whose names are about to be announced, won't actually touch any moon rocks or come down here, at least this time, but they have an important role in testing out the systems for the next step which comes as early as 2025, when the Artemis III mission will see astronauts landing on the south pole of the moon, the area that NASA has chosen as the best spot to set up a permanent lunar base.